Known infamously as the fish of 10,000 casts, and arguably one of the hardest freshwater fish to catch, the muscalonge, or muskie as most people call them, have the ability to drive anglers to insanity. But when you finally convince one of these river monsters to eat, there is no greater feeling in fishing. All right, you ready? Let's go! Let's go! I'm not going to lie, I bought my 10 weight musky fly rod well over a year ago. I've tried multiple times to catch one on the fly and came up empty handed. It's not that I don't know how to catch them, the fish has been an obsession of mine on and off since I was in high school. But catching one on the fly is bordering on stupidity. The fish are difficult enough to catch on conventional gear without the added difficulty of fly fishing. But when I got a text from my buddy Nate asking if I wanted to float a section of river with him and Bo from Native's Fly Shop, I was all for it. The weather was perfect for musky, raining and miserable. All right, boys, it's musky o'clock. It's a miserable day, but miserable days is when you catch the biggest musky, right? Something like that. Yep. See how little that, yeah, that thing was small. All right, Mike. He didn't now, his, now Doug is calling. He me. didn't shut his mouth. <laughs> yeah, he didn't stop. That was a little fish. I, I mean, what like are they? 18 inches what long. I was going to say 20, 21, but yeah, it's a tiny little thing. They just missed a little 10 inches. That's about what I expect in the sh shallow water we're dealing with currently. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, no way, dude. He got it. He was so Dude, he came back for it. <laughs> He's so little! Dude, and, and so dude, listen, I'm recording for that. I bet I could see that musky come up and hit that. Dude, yeah, it barded right by Easy, the I could so see it. That's yeah, funny. That's the littlest musky of all time, dude. No way, dude. He wanted I can't believe he came back. And he didn't look at my fly at all, but he came back and went a long ways for that fly. Which might be a piece. It. it could be a piece of the puzzle. I don't know. We'll keep fishing and see. He was keyed in on it. Look at this little turd. Curd McGurd. That thing's a giant. What are you talking about, man? Dude. See his pores, how they're all open? Where he's juiced up? That, that might be the coolest muskie I've ever caught. <laughs> I love that little fish. that guy. The float started out with a bang. Although Nate's fish wasn't necessarily anything to write home about, it proved that the muskie were active and willing to eat. We knew if we were able to stay focused and move water, we'd all get an opportunity at a fish by the end of the day. So we started swapping fishing stories and enjoying the day on the water. <laughs> but there's, we, there's a ripple down here that we're gonna have to go through. Yep. Well, as we start going through the ripple, there's this shad that just goes like popping downstream. Yep. Oh, that's probably six, seven inch shad. We get to the bottom of the ripple, we look over, and the shad's right beside the boat. Yeah. Did he fall on us? Well, so we like, let's row over there and get it. So it like kind of starts swimming out to the middle into a tree like this. We get right like to the edge of the tree, and I get the net, and I'm getting ready to net the shad, 36 inch muskie. He eats the it. shad. Bro, I almost netted the fish because it ate the shad. Like That's cool. It almost cool. jumped into the net. And we were like, what the? F <laughs> what the hell? Oh, what did you see that? We were freaking out. But that shad just swam a half a mile. And he gets it just Well, then the best part was, you pick a fly up, cast right where it just ate it. The muskie lets go of the shad. And eats you the see fly? the shad take off, comes over and smokes the fly, and doesn't get hooked. And like, Fly comes out of its mouth and it immediately turns and eats the shad again and then just swam away. Staying focused while musky fishing is tough. It's hard to explain how monotonous it gets out on the water. There's no good way to convey how many hours pass while musky fishing with little to nothing happening. It gets to a point where you start to lose your mind, the conversations on the boat get a little weird, and the focus on the task at hand starts to slip away. Several hours after Nate caught his fish, I made a long cast to the end of a downed tree. A few strips in, I felt a thud. At first, I thought I had to be hooked on the tree, but then I felt head shakes. Oh my gosh, dude. All right, this is it. This is the time. Get motion to the boat. Yep. It's going around this way. Nope, going underneath the boat. Now going away from the boat. All right, you ready? Yep. We're in there. Let's go! Let's go! Oh, dude. <laughs> Woo! All right, dude. That's a nice 
nice fish. Yes, sir. Yeah, tell him, Bobo. Hey, Holy cow, fish. dude. Nice fish, dude. I'm pumped. Let's go, Let's dude. Go. <laughs> What's the best place to go right here to get some good uh, shots? Right this side. Dude, that side's deep. That's why. Right. Let's go, dude. Nice, John. Yes. First one on the fly, baby. Solid fish, too, man. Yeah, he's a nice one for sure. He was fighting me, oh, too. Dog. Yeah. Dude, dog's fired up. I got lawn everywhere, dude. The dog, I'm fired up too. Well, I'm shaking for you. <laughs> oh, that is a fat fish. Look at that dude, thing. Dude, I'm telling you, she has something in her stomach. She might have just ate. Like, dude, she does have something in her right, stomach. Right, like I right think. there, you can see it. Yeah, yeah, it's right here. Yeah, like right in there. Oh, well, she's for sure got something in there. Nice fat fish, dude. Heck yeah. Oh yeah, love that. Where you at, girl? What's up? You're a little bit bigger than the last trout I caught. She did. She's gonna be feisty, feisty. She's gonna be a. Uh, come here, girl. Ooh. Healthy. Healthy mosquito. Hold on. Gotta readjust it one more time. There we go. Let's go. It's an awesome fish. Yeah, this is a nice First musky on the fly, boys. Let's yes. go. Healthy. Yeah, for sure. So. I don't even know what to say. I'm kind of speechless. So. <laughs> I'm gonna get her back in the water though. I don't want to hold her out too long. Oh. Oh. Can I? Chill? 30, yeah, 36, 36 and a half. And a half. Yep. Fat. So fat. Oh. All right. Let's go through the release now. Hold on. All right. First musket on the fly. Going for the release. Thanks, girl. Let's go. Let's go, boys. I barely had time to process my first muskie because I'm not kidding you when I say that probably within less than a minute of me releasing my fish, Nate yelled, I got one, and the boat went into complete chaos. <laughs> That's what mine did, dude. Oh, let's go, dude. No way! What is going on? I didn't even get a row. I didn't, even... didn't even touch the stick. I don't even have to row, boys. <laughs> when you said musky, I was like, Second no way. Strip, I saw the whole fly disappear. And I was just like, the case is in our backyard. That's unbelievable, right there. Oh yeah, John got on the horse and uh, touched him, and then he got. Off. I'm the best old rower that you guys have. You guys and that's just... dude. Of course, now I got to figure oh out we got to get to. Uh, we don't need to get to the bank or anything for okay. we can just. I'll get the camera out there. You hear the dog barking there, but that's the same fish. <laughs> I can see it now. Nate rehooks fish. I know, for like the size of the muskie. <laughs> Doubt it. <laughs> be... Yeah, I wouldn't know what a 30 looks like. I'm gonna guess 26. <laughs> Look at the size of the fly. You got to say, I need to send that to John, the dude that tied that flat plane. Mm -hmm. I've been telling him that that fly's been doing work and I haven't sent him anything. Dude, that is disgusting. <laughs> okay, so you're not going to do them? That's like leeches or something in her gill, dude. That is, I'm pulling those out. That is disgusting. There, so there's one right on the back side. Yeah, little black stuff in there. Little black things. Anyway. Nice fish. Musky! Heck yeah, dude. Teeth, son. All right, boys. Third one of the day. Going to the drink. Let those things get out of your gills. She gone. That's how musky fishing is. Hours and hours of nothing filled with a few moments of chaos that will make it seem like all the casts and hours of fishing were worth it. Bo did have a chance at one muskie on the day, but lost the fish after a brief fight. So that's it. That's the story of my first ever muskie on the fly. After my float with Nate and Bo, my passion for the fish of 10,000 casts has been reignited. So you'll probably be seeing a lot more of these videos in the future. If you liked it, let me know in the comments below. And as always, thanks for watching.